Good morning on this 25th day of August, 2012. This morning I wanted to refer to uh, something that was rather shocking. And that was Todd Akin's Republican candidate, Tea Party candidate, of course, uh, comment about rape and pregnancy. Mr. Aiken's view is really quite shocking, but it demonstrates the uh, woeful ignorance, superstition, and fear surrounding human sexuality on the part of so many people, particularly the ultra-right, of course and uh, people in the Tea Party, well, as well, the ones who are in control, uh, sort of displacing normal Republicans in the Republican Party. But even there, one finds in the religious right, particularly down in America, a uh, a medieval, primitive, almost uh, prehistoric superstition about human sexuality, and sometimes an an absolute neurosis about it. But Mr. Aikens, referring to women who are legitimately raped. Now, what does he mean by legitimate rape? The first thing that comes to mind is rape that's not illegal. That would be legitimate rape, of course. But actually what he's talking about is rape in which a woman doesn't enjoy being raped. I realize that some men don't realize what a terrifying and painful experience rape is for a woman. Uh, I've always heard locker room talk where women actually enjoy rape or kind of want to be raped or something. But And this is why some people actually commit the crime. But Mr. Akins is suggesting that a woman who's legitimately raped can reject a pregnancy. Now, what he means is that a woman who doesn't enjoy being raped can somehow shut down the pregnancy, her body can somehow reject the male sperm or something, or won't drop an egg, uh, you know, if she's being raped. I mean, but it shows an, an incredible ignorance about how pregnancy is actually achieved. See, in medieval times, And right up until probably the 1600s, a lot of people, including medical people, thought that how a a woman was simply an incubator for a man's sperm. A lot of them didn't even realize that the ovum passes in the woman and uh, that the sperm is simply there to fertilize it, to give it a broader um, genetic makeup so that there's, you know, that we don't have the problems of of sort of inbreeding, or that uh, you get the variations that, that make evolution work uh, in a positive fashion. But Mr. Aiken seems to, in, on the one hand, think that still have this idea that a woman is simply an incubator for a man's sperm, and that her body can push that back out and not incubate it, or something. Uh, but it's this kind of incredible ignorance that does make some men yield to the temptation to commit rape in the first place. And I, I, I can't help but think that a person who's that ignorant, that insensitive, and that backward shouldn't be elected anywhere at any time under any circumstances, maybe in the Islamic world or something where, uh, you know, women are just objects and not real human beings. But this is, uh, this is something that's totally outrageous. But it calls to mind again, when we talked about transgendered people and other of these sexual variations, it reminds us again just the, how deep and profound and cruel the ignorance actually is about matters, sexual matters and reminds us again that there's still a kind of chronic neurosis 
about human sexuality in general, and that really it, it has somehow to be dealt with because it's so destructive and so cruel and so hurtful that, uh, you know, in, in, in Islam, and, and you can research it yourself. It's not simply a, 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 an accusation of some kind. There are certain rules and regulations governing how you beat your wife. Not a forbidden to beat your wife, but rules and regulations about how to do it properly and within the framework of, of Islamic law. That uh, also, I mean, I've heard from Islamic speakers and read it too, the idea that women enjoy being whipped and raped by their husbands. This is a very long-term and deep misconception that is actually causes a lot of pain and even sometimes death because rapists often murder their victims. When a woman is being raped, one of the thought that has to go through her mind is, will he murder me afterward? And will he give me AIDS? Will he give me some kind of sexually transmitted disease of another kind? And will I have to bear the, the child of the rapist? Well, in Islamic society, a woman is often forced to marry the rapist who's violated her person and caused her this pain and fear. Akins has about the same view of women and sex and sexuality as a sort of uh, Islamic fanatics do. And this again brings to mind the woeful and sorrowful and destructive ignorance of the religious right and of ultra-right-wing people in general. And something really has to be done to dispel these mythologies in this medieval mentality. Legitimate rape, as opposed to illegitimate rape. It, it isn't about law. It's about whether the women enjoys being raped, especially when they get beaten up or some man smashes them in the face with his fist in order to make it so that they can't resist. I, I don't have words for people like Todd Aiken, actually. There aren't any words that scrape the bottom of the barrel enough to talk about people like that. But it's not far removed from what the rest of the religious right actually believe about human sexuality, about female sexuality, about transgender, and about all these other aspects of sexual variation. Todd Aiken's comments are enough that should make everyone wary and everyone have second thoughts about how they understand any of these matters. Because really, in a way, Todd Aiken's is, is um, making rape acceptable on the premise that women actually enjoy it, and that's illegitimate rape. This, uh, this, this statement, this medieval mentality, this horrible justification of evil, should really make all of you think again, have second thoughts about how you understand matters of human sexuality and gender, and realize that there are variations in it that mythology and medieval mentalities prevent people from realizing and grasping so that they continue to bully some people into suicide, destroy the lives of others, and uh, persecute people like people who are trans genuinely transgendered. Transgender has nothing to do with cross-dressing. Most of the people who cross-dress are actually heterosexual men. You have what are called drag queens in the gay world that have nothing whatsoever to do with transgender. Transgendered people are not homosexual. They're trying to prevent being forced into homosexual relations. 
on the basis of their genitalia. And outbursts like this thing of Todd Akins should forewarn us and alert us to the fact that there are so much and so many gross misunderstandings, fearful or fear-ridden mythologies, and just sheer medieval mentalities about these subjects, that people need to inform themselves more deeply, more sincerely, more accurately from valid science, not from superstitions, and not from medieval fears. And if you can't inform yourselves in a proper and appropriate manner through medical science, then say your own prayers, worry about yourself, and leave other people alone. I, I think you can find that justified in the divine scripture. Don't judge and condemn other people. Worry about your own salvation and say your own prayers. And mind your own business. If you can't uh, take the time, the effort, and have the integrity to inform yourself properly through medical science about these things, then just leave people alone. Don't destroy their lives because of your medieval fears, because of your superstitions. Like Todd Akins, just think about it. If a woman is legitimately raped, her body can reject the pregnancy. I mean, if, if you have to be insane to believe these things. I mean, if you if you want to believe something like that, I'd like to sell you the Brooklyn Bridge. But stop and think, people, about the kind of pain and misery and sorrow and suffering and grief, the destruction of people's lives that take place through these gross superstitions that are perpetrated by the religious right who are among the most ignorant people on the face of the earth and intentionally ignorant, intentionally ignorant. Small wonder that the prophet said, my people perish from lack of knowledge. But uh, in any case, I just wanted to, call, to remind people about the, the kind of views that Todd Akins and multitude of the religious right actually have and suggest to people, either inform yourselves from proper medical science or just back off and leave people alone. That would be the actual Christian thing to do. Now, thank you all and God bless you.